It's game time. It's rain and dwarves. Hallelujah. Why is there a giant chicken? I love it. Free range games. Oh my gosh. Hello, Joey. Welcome in. Tosta Baggins is in the house. More than what hobbits and elves know. Oh shit, I gotta turn this up. Elves. You guys hear it? It's a Joey evening. Juniper, hello! New game, Pog Champ. New game, Pog Champ. With hammer and axe, we cleanse the world Terriel, from the hello. shadow of the ring and its oh, master. Oh dear, we're shouting. Yet we dwarves celebrate as a scattered people, cut off from our Coffee one true home. Across Middle Earth, we mine and sculpt, delving for riches. Yet the greatest treasure remains out of our reach. Moria. Dorin built it before the first sun rose. And through the ages, when darkness threatened our great kingdom, he awoke to lead us again. I don't know if it's John Rhys Davies. It kind of does so, kind of sounds like somebody all. pretending to be him, but I'm not that sure. Was a thousand years ago. And Dorin, Dorin the death. Well, I'm sure someone could look it up returned. real quick. Is it John Rhys Davies or not? Some it is John Rhys Davies. I say. We wait it is no him. Oh my goodness. It is time to journey from That's every wonderful. Mountain. Come, rally together. Bring your axes and tools, craft and courage. John Reyes Davies does a time. lot of fun projects, we and I'm I love that for him. Return to Moria. It's like how they're getting um Aon. Miranda, is that, her, is that her first name? Miranda. She's gonna be um, in the new movie, the the Roar Hero movie. She's gonna be the narrator. It is him. Yes. Okay. We have confirmation that our Gimli voice is John Rhys Davies, and I love that. That's amazing. Hello, Nim. Yes, the anime movie. Is this PC only for now? I... We can do exclamation point Moria, and that'll take you to the... the link. Um... Tonight's things are Moria and... Come on. Stream Elements is so slow tonight. We are just getting started, Nim, so I do not know anything about the... I, I know nothing yet. I already see that they don't have the lake here. They're trying to show that there's, like, the door. There's the uh, secret entrance door, but we don't have the lake. Um, so I'm curious as to uh, what this is supposed to be. I'm assuming they just don't have the watcher in the water right here, or it's right behind the hill over there. You remember Davies first from Quest for Glory 4 is the narrator? Nice. Not canon. Throw it away. <laughs> Maybe it's the other entrance? The back door. The back door, you say. We shall make it canon. In theory, this is multiplayer, but it seems like it, from what I saw something that said that, like, it's multiplayer in the way that, like, Valheim is multiplayer and, like, someone has to host. It's not just like jump in to game together kind of thing. Hello, Deathman. Welcome in. I remember him in sliders, but I am old. Plo, you need to. You're not that old. You say you're old and you're gonna offend people in this chat because you're not as old as some people in chat. Nim, thank you for the prime sub. Insert message here. I need to edit the fact that none of these have voice to talk, voice or text to speech. Neff, hello friend, welcome in. Big hugs to you. I just saw your news on Twitter, so 
Everybody hugs for Nath, please. But we shall, uh, not dive into things, but just, just give hugs. 34 months. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of months, Nim. I think, I think you keep, you might have an addiction or, like, a problem. Do we need to talk about, <laughs> you keep coming back. There, there was uwus. I don't know what uwus are happening. Bonacle, they're dwarves. I have no idea if what like the family dynamics might be in here. They're dwarves. They're dwarves. I need to... Okay, let's try something set it over here. Oh, because I was talking about back doors. That's right. That's right. Sorry. I'm with it. I'm with it. It's fine. Okay, press any key to continue. Let's see. I forgot what I have, but I also have a sub to... Carnage. Carnage for three plus years, too? Nice. Totally healthy. So Ewoks, ay ay ay. It's not fun being short because then you get like into an Ewoks. Alrighty, well, shall we just hit play? Is the game audio too loud? Just uh, shout at me if like the game audio is too loud or too quiet or anything. Easier to hide though. I mean, yeah, but. And all the tall people make jokes about you. It is just a wee bit. As I can turn it down. I'll turn it down a little bit. And I'll also try to keep myself actually talking into my mic. Okay. Shall we, everyone? <gasps> Customize your dwarf! <laughs> Character creation! We're gonna be here all night! Ho, 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 ho. Okay, what do we have for customization? Beard. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Dwarf sim? It's a dwarf sim, yeah. We got some nice beard vibes going on. There's some fun things. How do you make it your dwarf and elf? That's a good question. We should go like, I don't know, make him a blonde. Oh, oh my, I don't like that at all. I all, uh, uh, what, what is, is this, is this like, I have questions. Okay, that looks a little bit better. What's with the eyeliner? Since when did Doris do wings? Baby face! Is that my wife? Don't make it ugly! There is no gender, but there is feminine features. Okay. Beard simulator. Bearded baby face. <laughs> um, we got sturdy face, a distant face, regal. Aw, oh, he looks like really nice. Serene, steely. I should probably like make things look a little bit. I don't know. We have a lot of face makeup. Okay, we have like different, we have a lot of facial features. Okay. Everyone should do wings. Ah, it's Vala! Exclamation point feel in chat. <laughs> youthful. The others weren't youthful. Weathered. Feel, feel, feel. There you are, stream elements. Good lord almighty. Okay, so we don't have, like, actual 
gender choices. We just have faces and styles that look a little... Elven! There's an elven head style. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And we have lots of skin tones. Amazing. Just be pale AF. Visibomb, welcome in. You can enhance the chesticle region. Oh, can you? What a great first message in chat. Welcome in. Aileen, I know many times you listened. I have stats now. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Too much feel. No beard. Elven head. Super tall. Doxed by Spotify. Wife of uh, Aileen said he might be moving to the U.S. here eventually. Um, and now I'm like losing my shit. We got to figure out which direction he wants to actually move. Maybe we can fight over him. Is this an elf? Hi, cheese. I'm pretending that I'm not actually making a hobbit that's pretending they're a dwarf. Oh shit, I can turn him around. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. I love that. Fishtail braid. That looks amazing. Streamer house, streamer house, streamer house. Good evening, and thank you. I am excited to check it out. I can just be bold. We can just be shaved. We can just be shaved. We have this long hair. Ooh. Oh, those are pretty. I keep forgetting I'm not, like, actually blonde anymore, and I should probably be doing, like, dark brown hair. Love it. Oh dear. Need no eyebrows. Wait, that one said bangs. So this one... Oh, we can have bangs, everybody. We can have bangs. We should probably have, like, matching eyebrows. That might be a good idea. That's kind of cool that there's, like, actually no gender and you can kind of just, like, decorate your character how you want and everything's available. That's cool. That's cute. Sokka, is that you? Yeah, that's cool. Also very pretty. Yeah, I like the fishtail. I like that fishtail braid, that's really pretty. That's gorgeous. Okay, so do we have any kind of a beard or no? Do we go with like a slight beard? I feel like we should go with some form of a beard if we're gonna be a dwarf. We need a beard if we're gonna be a dwarf. After you see the first cutscene, you'll see why no eyebrows might even be a good option. Oh dear. Is there a mishap with a fire? Lamb chops for the win. I kind of don't like lamb chops on actual people, but this is kind of a vibe right here, honestly. Like this. This is actually kind of cool with the fishtail braid in the back and the. Maybe everyone addresses you as, hey, you. Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I want to see the other faces, though. Honestly, I could pull that look off if I grew my sideburns. Hell yeah. Looks like the hair is just partly down and over their shoulders. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It kind of looks like they just have a long front part of their hair, too. So, oh, oh, he hello. This polished one is interesting. They have like literal face jewelry. That's not something I was expecting, but it's kind of cool. 
Like, it makes sense. It makes sense for the doors to have, like, metal face jewelry. It's just not something I was expecting. It's kind of cool, though. It makes them look a little futuristic, though. You've got the, the elven look. Yeah. Okay, are we going... Let's keep looking at faces. Yeah, this just looks like the, it's, they've got hair wrapped around their chin. It is the fourth age. I mean... Does anyone have the Mike Tyson tattoos? I'm not sure what the Mike Tyson tattoos are. And I also have no idea if we have, like, if we can pick tattoos in this game or not. Lord of the Rings! <laughs> it's in 77. Yeah, I feel like we don't quite need the full beard. We've got the small chops, and we've got the braided chops, which I'm kind of digging. Forehead over just one eyebrow? Yes, there are tattoos. Okay. Tyson has like a tiger tattoo or some shit on his cheekbone wrapping up around his eyebrow. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'd be into face tattoos on my character, but we'll see. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Okay. We're also going for... I always do Perwethian as in the character Perwethian. So now we're just making her a dwarf. And so far, this is probably it. Let's see. We have... You mean our character. <laughs> Um, Perwethian has, like, green-blue eyes. Ooh, there we go. We could also do red eyes, which kind of makes... Well, if we're, we're a Mordor dwarf. A Mordor dwarf. <laughs> Mordor dwarf. <laughs> what if we make lore, but no, not a tiger. Okay. <laughs> Geralt, is that you? Those are super blue, but I kind of I like this is this is the Perwethian. Last page has origin. Ah, okay, okay, that's what the mountain is for. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so we can choose eye color. Oh, we do have. Okay, okay, we have tattoos. We have tattoos, y'all. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. Just an anvil on your forehead. Not my style, but cool. Um. Uh, imagine getting a tattoo just on your nose like that. That sounds. That just. Ugh, that would be so painful. N ninth. Ninth pawn. Ninth pawn. Ooh, that one's cool. Ooh, we had just a uh, over this eye. That's cool. I like that. Forehead. On oh, his cute little ones under your eyes. That's cute. Oh, and we can change the color of the tattoos. Nice. Make them that dark red so they match my hair. Ooh. That's cool. What's. Ooh. That one's cute and simple. Chin tattoo. We got the spots on the sides. Ooh, straight over the nose. Runes over the eye. Straight line over the nose. I don't see that one. Maybe it's under the beard. There's a four... One's on the forehead. Oh, those ones probably go, like, over the head so you'd really only see them. If you were bald. How dare a dwarf not have a beard? My dwarf has, has si giant sideburns going on. 
We're going, we're going like cutesy. We're going to be a really cute dwarf, okay? I'm just a bait. I, I'm digging a lot of these tattoos. I just don't know which one I want. Perwethi and the characters never really had tattoos, so debating which one is more going to suit her. It's really cute. These are just so cool, though. I kind of like that one. I also really like that one. I feel like this one makes her eyes pop, and it looks really cool. Oh, we also have scars. Oh, my goodness. Oh, these have some funky names. None. Mountain Wildcat. Oh, we could probably see these a lot better if we made our hair disappear. You know what? I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that. This one's called Pickaxe. <laughs> they named Goblin Pike. They named all of the scars after what would have caused the injury to create the scar. That is some dedication. Need a cause of dual translators to know what they say. Yeah, I do. I really do. And then, like, they show them, like, cutting the tattoos and the scars together. That's so cool. Ah. What the fuck? Ekami with the raid. Hello. Also, nine. Welcome in. Thank you for playing your song. I know it's not ESO. I even I told you yesterday what I was doing. We're playing the new Moria game. Hello, Ekami. Mochi and mommy Mochi in my chat. Whoa. Egami, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. If any of you don't know me, hi, I'm Queen, a.k.a. Perwethian, and we are trying out the new... Brand new, just launched this week. I forgot, Moria's Lotro. <laughs> this is totally not Lotro. This is Lord of the Rings Return to Moria. So, of course, we have to play it. Also, I got a free game code, so... Why shouldn't I play it? Because now I have it for free. Full disclaimer. I got the game for free. They are not paying me to say nice things about it, though. So! <laughs> uh... Thank you for all of the links. Everybody go listen to Chrissy and Vala's new song. It just dropped on Friday. It's amazing. Please give it a listen. And there is the link to check out this game if you want to. And the rest of my links. Thank you, Mochi. But yeah, welcome in Raiders from Ekami. And thank you, Ekami, my dear, for the raid. What were you playing? What were you guys up to today? I hope you had a good time. Y'all go follow Ekami. She is a sweetie pie. You gotta go sleep. Do, do the sleep. Sleep is important. There's a fair amount of nice to say about it, but there are some extremely valid criticisms to share as well. Well, we are still in character creation, so we will get there. We'll get there. Um, for anyone who's new, my streaming journey started with Lord of the Rings Online. So a lot of my community, at least a lot of people who have floated around, are very into Lord of the Rings and the lore. So I'm sure we will have some strong critiques. Started Dead of Night, got real scared, then oxen free. Awesome. Mochi was nice enough to get me oxen free. Aww, Mochi. Mommy Mochi. Sugar Mommy Mochi. How sweet. 
We like mochi. Morgoth was right. Morgoth was right. Morgoth was right. The lore is actually a crazy sexy high point. Amazing. Lore being accurate just makes makes us all so happy. I feel like it's going to be updates. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be if there's performance issues and stuff right now, it did just drop, so I'm sure there will be things fixed. I think I saw earlier when I was looking at the Epic Games Store, it's at like a 4.4 out of 5 stars right now, so that's not too bad. Rosen did lore consulting on this, so you better know it's correct. Okay. We had actual lore consultation. We all loved Rings of Power! <laughs> Slug's copy of the Silmarillion! <laughs> this baby can fit so much generational trauma in it. You're probably gonna buy this tonight. Do you have an epic referral link? I don't think so. I don't think I have like a referral link. That'd be, I, I don't know. Hang on, I can look. I got the code through Rainmaker GG, but I do not know if I What's have- What's the Elvish word for friend? Hello, thank you for the follow. Melon. Welcome in, thank you for asking. Iron Pond, but I don't know if I actually have anything that would be helpful. Oh, you're a bot. Any of the mods wanna... wanna... <laughs> Good job, Alien. Alien got it! I just went to ban it, oh my god. <laughs> I was like, yay, a follower! How nice! Oh, they're a bot. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Blow also went to do it. Uh. Um, yeah, I don't think I have any kind of a link to follow. I didn't- I'm not, like, officially sponsored or anything. I just got the game code from Rainmaker. Um, so I don't know, they, there isn't like a lot of stuff on the website that I've figured out. So I'm trying to like figure out if there's anything, but there, I really haven't found anything that's like, you know, the links and stuff. Um... So, yeah, I don't think I have anything like that. They probably don't really care how many people I send over. And I don't I don't have any like get a a cut or anything kind of a link. So, you know, cuz sometimes you get those ones where like you uh can do the where yeah you click and you buy from the link and then like they get a kickback or at least like points or something i don't have anything like that which is kind of unfortunate but you know good night mochi mochi gago sleepies okay mochi good night there's only ones i can use one to get you first okay well and i are de facto mods yeah Had two of them bother a friend's stream yesterday? Oof. Good night, Mochi. Have good sleep. If you have them, I might need some blue sky codes. I got two of the friends wanting to join. I have three blue sky codes right now. So I can provide those momentarily. Let's see. Do I want scars? Tree branch. This scar is called tree branch. <laughs> I have five. Let me hit you up. Okay. We have lots of codes. Juniper has codes. Isn't it funny to try to use mod commands somewhere? You're not a mod and then just awkward. Dude, that's me. The amount of places that I- I mod so many places that when I'm not a mod I feel weird. Like, I, it feels wrong to not be a mod. Pickaxe, bar, brawl. 
broken nose in the bar brawl. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll probably go with no... No scars, just because Perwethian doesn't like have those kinds of stories. I become pro modding without modding. And Ninth Pawn has two codes too. Guys, everyone join Blue Sky, okay? Are you in a dwarf if no bar brawls? Exactly. Oh, when we can change the color of the of the beard shinies. I think I'll keep them matching silver because if they don't match, they'll bother me, but... Oh, and you can change... Oh, we can change the hair. <gasps> we can change... We can make the hair thingies gold. Oh my gosh, hang on. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. Obsessed with the trees much, I like silver and gold. You know, I have an Ahmad in the one Discord you're an officer on? Interesting. What's the elvish word for friend? I have a lot of Oh, thank you for the follow. I have a lot of mods. <laughs> Visibomb, thank you for the follow. Welcome in to the Queen's Court. Sneakies, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. We are checking out the new dwarf game. So far, we've made it to character creation. Okay, I think that's good. Now we can look at our body type. Oh yeah, lower them shoulders. I like having a neck. And yeah, no pretty girl mods. Yeah, I've... See, that my theory was... That I only put the boys to work. First off, we've created a mod culture where they all flirt with each other, and it's just it's just better that they're all dudes. And I also was like, let's not let the girls work. When when the gals roll up, they get to chill. No gals are getting put to work on this stream. But I don't know. I may change that eventually. But I do, I do think I've created a very unique mod culture here. <laughs> Not something you're interested in? Responsibility. I've got a wife and a two-year-old, got plenty of responsibility. I have a now one-year-old. My baby turned one today. So yeah, responsibilities are, are, we can shallow and broaden our chest we can have a really uh we can have giant packs you guys how big can we can have giant ass packs <laughs> your mod culture is characterized by one word bonk congratulations thank you i'm i'm just glad i made it the whole year bust from none into oh, oh the the titties were lower than i thought they'd be but I guess, I guess that would... <laughs> we can have the giant packs. Okay, so we can go like... Big titty, big titty GF. Juniper has been bonked. You got a cat? Nice. There's the bonk. So handsome. We can change our, our belly shape. Oh, we can, we can be like really skinny with giant titties. This doesn't seem very dwarven to me. Oh, oh, oh. Why is that waist? That's ass. <laughs> we can have a big booty and big titties. She thick. Is there any goth makeup asking for a friend? Oh my goodness. You're asking, uh, asking why it's the waist? It just says... It says waist, tight to loose, and it's literally the way... Like, the front doesn't move. I guess it kind of does. Okay, the sides kind of move. 
You can like get the belly out and you can make them nice and nice and chunky. You can have big chunky. Or you can shrink down their chest. You can remove the bust. You can suck in the belly and you can shrink the waist. You can make skinny, skinny tiny dwarf. You can make little tiny dwarf who needs to go get some muscles, yes? Little tiny dwarf who needs muscles. Origin determines outfit. Ooh, that's cool. It just shifts the fat down. Yeah, I'm like, this is... You go from chubby waist, like a thicker front, to shove it all in the back. Shove it all in the back. Shove it all in the back. Can I do that? Because I have that tummy right now. I just want to shove it to my ass. That'd be great. I don't have to lose any weight. I just want to take everything that's on my tummy and smoosh it over. <laughs> Can I jump in character creation real quick? <laughs> this is the workout I need. Is just... <laughs> Move the junk to the trunk. Exactly. I just need to move the junk to the trunk. Where ourselves a little tum tum because everybody likes a squishy tum tum. We we gotta embrace embrace big titty life because that that is accurate. I don't have massive pecs though, so we're gonna leave that down. Give ourselves a little bit more shoulder, maybe a little bit more chest, just so we're dwarven shaped. This feels pretty dwarven shaped to me. I don't trust myself in an IRL What's the Elvish character word for generator. Friend? Steel Justice, welcome in. Bella. Welcome on in. Um, we are just getting started. This is my first time trying to play it. An elf underground, it's yeah, it's kinda terrifying. Not not a huge fan, but it's Lord of the Rings, so I gotta find out. I just give him a pick a queen and say make me like that. Aw, it's an upper. See, if I was in an, a real life character creation, I could just change myself. I'd turn myself into a literal elf. Like. <laughs> You've played it a bit, it's at least way better than the Gollum game. I didn't play the Gollum game, but I watched one of my friends play it, and... Yeah! <laughs> about 10 hours in? Nice. I'm about an hour into character creation! <laughs> uh... Gollum is a pretty low bar, yeah. Okay. Ooh, we get to change our voice, our personality. <laughs> Lord of the Rings Gollum was a travesty. It's no Valheim. I love Valheim, to be honest. I still haven't, like, even gotten close to finishing it, but... Valheim, I could just play for years. Gollum was at least Rings of Power tier. <laughs> Personality. Brash. Eager. Oh gosh. Grim. Focused. Brash. The, the goofball who's gonna do heel clicks? That's me. Eager. I don't think I'm like... Overly excitable. And shrouded. I don't think I know that game at all. You're six foot two, and you'd be a hobbit. So you're an elf-sized hobbit. <laughs> if you like Valheim but want prettier, go in shrouded. Interesting. I kind of enjoyed the art style of Valheim, though. There's just something so soothing about it. I don't want to quite be grim. I don't want to be cranky. I don't- I'm- I'm not focused, um, we're gonna have to go, like, I'm not over- I- I don't know which- which personality I should have. 
Marie. Oh, you changed your name to Cyber Marie. Well, welcome, welcome in with your new name. Who about 40 hours to open beta? Nice. Doesn't even have a release date yet, though? Oof. Is it as soothing as a queen stream? Nothing. I'm, I'm not soothing. Me? Soothing? Also, there's different voices. Oh, if only my nana could see this. Oh my goodness. There's different voices. That is a long way down. <laughs> oh goodness. Well, not you, just the stream. Okay. The stream is chill. Yeah, stream is soothing, not me. I'm doing pretty good, Marie. Today is actually the prince's birthday, and I made him pancakes. And he doesn't have his birthday. He has his birthday party on Saturday, so... I have made it. I, I now have a one-year-old, and I'm kind of freaking out about it. <laughs> I have now emptied three glasses. I still have this much water. I finished the coffee and the lemonade and the first glass of water that somehow ended up up here. Surprisingly quiet, are the mods asleep? I don't know. Now I want pancakes. I made him homemade from scratch, peanut butter banana pancakes. Granted, I would make them differently for an adult because these ones didn't have any sugar or anything in them, but they were peanut butter banana pancakes. You can't all be king of the castle chaos. Four more years to kindergarten? Don't don't tell me those things. <sighs> don't don't tell me these things. Let's listen to these voices. Tell Durin weeks from sleep. Oh, a hearty meal cures nearly all. Ay, ay, ay. An orc stronghold. Zil Arab da irazu. Oh, a voice that tends to speak in Kaza Duel. What? They have voices that do more Kaza Duel? That's awesome. At your service. Okay, that's the first. The mountain smiles on us today. Kaza Doom awaits. Oh, if only my Nana could see this. Oh, oh that is a long way down. Should we do one of the Kaza Duel voices? That would be cool. Till Durin wakes from sleep. That might be cool. Oh, a hearty meal cures nearly all. Wait, singing voice? Hang on, this is singing. Oh, a hearty meal cures nearly all. They have singing voices. An orc stronghold. That's. That's... Okay, so there's ten voices. I'm not sure which one of them I want. New vote number four. You sing when you mine. I love that. I I might sing along. That will be so cute. Hearty meal cures nearly all. Glittering caves in Rohan. The Iron Hills east of Erebor. Ooh, that's a cute outfit. So let's check out these outfits. We care about the outfits. The coastal mountains. Do you like a coast? We don't like the, <laughs> the patrician, <laughs> the patrician dwarves. 
If you just go to her laughing about it, singing regular like that, yeah, then all the doors is like, far over the misty mountains cold. And I'm just like, far over. Lady Pat dwarves, oh my goodness. Coastal, we have the Blue Mountains. That's where Radvard, one of my Lotro dwarves, is from. And then the Red Mountains. Um, it's only after the downfall of Sauron that they could journey west past Mordor and bring with them their particular culture. Oh, sorry, these are the... Are these our Mordor dwarves? Mordor dwarves! Your Final Fantasy guild leaders led you on to fall asleep to you singing? That's cute. The Lonely Mountain, Erebor. And then the Glittering Caves of Rohan, okay. Which outfit do we like the best? I think all of these are pretty cool. This coastal one is really cool. So they're from far south. So the blue mountains are over in, um... That's where, um, la, 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 la. Arid Luin. The Blue Mountains are in Arid Luin. Yes, Death Man, there we go. Yes, you know. Blue Mountains are Arid Luin. And this is, this is one of my characters. Um, Red Mountains are essentially Mordor, it sounds like. So this would be, um, my other dwarf. God, tomorrow's gonna fucking suck. What's, what's tomorrow, Ashen? It is a Friday. What, what's, I do like this look though. I dig this outfit. Lonely Mountain, we can be classic Erebor. You're taking, oh, Ashen, I'm sorry. Hmm. H hugs in chat for Ashen. That sucks. I'm sorry. Hmm. That's never fun. Hugs in chat, y'all. Hugs in chat. I do have a hug command. <laughs> uh, which outfit do I like the best? You know what? I kind of want to do Blue Mountains. I, I dig like all of these. These are all pretty slick. They're all pretty sweet, but I kind of feel like... <gasps> we can randomize our name. Nah, we're just gonna do Perwethian. Who cares that we have an elven name? This dwarf's name and appearance can be customized at any time from the dwarf select menu. Okay, so we're not stuck with this. We can go back and edit. I'm having back issues for months now. Tiny seizure. Oh no. Poor baby. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, that sucks. 
Alrighty, we have a Perwethian. Let's create create our world. Just play offline, I guess. I'm not hosting, so. Yes, dwarves from every clan have answered your call, despite the king under the mountain's objection. Lord Gimli, Erebor will not support entering the Black Pit. If the king wants to stop us, he can come himself. Every attempt you've made has failed. This is a sign. No signs or kings are going to stop us. This is the time to reclaim Khazad Doom. Today, to... we get into that mountain. Any luck? No, won't budge. Did you try speaking friend? Now, why didn't I think of that before? Oh my goodness. You did your best. On to plan B. Ah, finally. Plan B? <laughs> Is that blasting fire? I'd stand back if I were you. This is madness. Dimly, you can't. We have to wait for Durin. Durin's not here. We have to do this ourselves. Maybe this will wake him up. <laughs> Limin Barak. Limin Tagaz. Kazan Dashtin. I thought we were playing Dwarven Fashion Set. This is another sign! Oh, hammer of tongues. It's the fourth age. Nothing is going to stop us. Oh my goodness. You heard Lord Gimli? Let's go! Oh shit. It's nice and tight. Oh my goodness. On, help him out. What? Uh. Uh. Wait, what? Did we just fall? Oh my god, we just fell. That was no normal dwarf blast. What? Oh shit, we just fucking fell. Uh, hi, hi guys torch. too dark for dwarf eyes what yeah 250 20, 225 fathoms deep we're in the dark oh my goodness okay we need to gather wood and craft a torch what the heck how do i oh we just get close enough to them that they let us pick it up? Okay. Press C to craft. We can make a torch. Okay. We have a torch. Recipe list. We only have a torch. Okay, this is gonna be crafting. Dig that. I can't fathom that depth. I'm digging this already. <laughs>「Punch stuff. Okay, what else do we have over here? Your journey in the dark. Step one, gather supplies. Search for resources and find a way back to the company's camp. Was that just the blasting fire? Did I hear a roar as well? I seem to have fallen inside Moria. I'm unprepared for this. I need light and food before I can find my way back to the company. So we have to gather supplies. Learning the game, craft light source. Okay, we did that. Dwarf craft. Lamps and torches. Jordan's folk. Gimli. And King Thorin and the third Stonehelm. Okay, and then Gimli's company. We have Camp of Gimli's company and the contract section one. Okay, we... we, we uh, Responded to the contract. We need to make a rope ladder. We need to find some natural fiber. And we can make a quick platform out of wood scraps. Okay. Inventory. Ooh, we have energy and stamina bars. 
I hope this isn't like too survivalist because I've heard it compared to Valheim and Valheim I'm good with the level of survivalist like what is it it's not is it survival survival games there's some like intense survival games where like if you don't eat exactly the right amount and you don't like get this much amount of sleep and you know like, there's 50 billion things you have to do to survive those are like too intense for me but like Valheim was okay it wasn't too hardcore of survival. Alrighty, and then we have settings. Okay, system settings. Okay. Let's collect a few more things. Very vanilla, eat food to not dead, okay. How do I use my torch? Aha! We just like jog around here and pick up some more wood scraps. So I just fell down and we have a big ol' uh, honkin' rock in the way. Okay. Reverse! Reverse! Put it in reverse, Terry! Yeah, there's a little bit too much fire down here for my liking. How much- Oh, we can climb up here. Sweet. Were we supposed to go the other way, though? There's another path this way. What's over here? A dead end. Okay, so I was right to climb the thing. Okay. Stay in light to not lose morale. Okay. Don't starve together? The dwarves be mining and crafting. You press space to jump. Press T to learn more. Oh, there's a gap right there. Okay, that's not scary. That's not scary. Um, um, I'm scared to jump. Please, please don't die. There <gasps> must be a way back to camp. We made it. Try the doors of Durin from the inside. <sighs> Best get going. Metal fragments. We can now craft a simple pickaxe. Amazing. You can also build platforms. That's right. It did say I could do platforming. I could build scaffolding. Okay. We are in the depths of Moria. What's over here? Anything of interest? Ooh, a shit ton of metal fragments. I feel like an archaeologist. <laughs> That's what I've been watching on- I've been watching on National Geographic, like, a lot of, uh... Ooh, I can turn the- <gasps> I can turn the braziers on! Oh my goodness. We can turn the braziers on? Amazing. And now we can start to, uh, we need to craft a simple pickaxe. Let's see. See for crafting? Okay. Pickaxe. Craft. A little bit of lag during the jump made me nervous for a moment. Same. I was like, wait, are we okay? Uh. 10 out of 10. Real life action braziers. We're playing a platformer now? I've not really played a platformer. Well, I guess like, what's it called? The Black Flag is like a low key a platformer, but not really. Okay, let's get out. Okay, we just uh, boop, boop our way on through here. Let's take out some terrain. Hell yeah. Ooh, we've made a hole. Amazing. Firelight. We are not alone. 
Yeah, we are we are not not alone. There's yeah, there's like goblins and shit down here, honey. Mushrooms! There's mushrooms! <gasps> I can climb up on here? Okay, okay. Um, do I need to like zoom me past and try not to get killed by a goblin? Probably. Oh, a raven of Erebor. Uh, hello, a random raven? Burb? Are you from our camp? Santa wins. Uh, Burb? I am Ari. Son of Arak. Yours is the only friendly face. We're talking to a bird, what guys. To the rest of camp? I cannot tell. A curse. Ill curse. It blocks me. Could you search for another way out? For any other survivors? Goodness. I will search. You go east. See what you can find. I will fly to you when I can. Okay, seek the gate. There were others in here, and now there's just the bird. I have questions! What happened to everybody else? I'm just trying to collect some mushrooms, guys. I'm, I'm just collecting random mushrooms. I don't know if they're edible. I'm just collecting them. I'm a little loot goblin. I'm lighting the braziers, which is probably a bad plan, but, you know. This is fine. I'm a little loot dwarf. I'm a little looting elf. This is really cute so far. I, I already like it. I hope that it's, like... I don't know. Stays, like... Lore acceptable. Because if it stays lore acceptable, I might be in love. Okay. Cleared us a bigger a bigger hole through here. Okay. The more light you have around you, the easier it is to survive. Got it. Build platforms to traverse terrain. Build to here. Okay, we have crafting. We can do an improved axe. Let's make the improved axe. Nice. Okay. Tools. Oh, that one counts as a weapon. What was that breath? I didn't like that. The new Minecraft expansion. Yeah, I'm also getting like, um... What's the other game I played? Deep Rock Galactic. I'm getting like very light Deep Rock Galactic vibes with the digging. There's nothing in the tutorial segment worth coming back for. Interesting. We can make a mushroom stew. Oh, we have to have a fire. Interesting. Field crafting, stone hearth. Okay, we have to have... Okay, I hit crafting. Where's the, uh... Oh, I'm starving. Shit. Um... How do I eat? Can I just eat the mushrooms? Okay. Hopefully these mushrooms don't kill me. B for build menu. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Not crafting. Build menu. Platform. Got it. Let's see if that works. Can I wiggle through there? Is that too? Oh. 
Are those two too close to each other? Probably. Oh, and I can just get up on top here. Okay, look at that, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yay! Uh-oh. I don't just want to drop down. I didn't find any natural fiber, so can I build a platform from here? Build on wall. Can I just, like, get a couple of these lined up so I don't fucking die? Okay. Oh shit, I fell. I fell. Okay, we're fine. Put that away. Can I reclaim the wood? That's a good question, but it kind of doesn't look like... What if I did... I don't know if I can reach. I don't know if I can reach it. Press X. Deconstruct. Amazing. And then pick up the wood scraps with E. Okay. Alrighty. Intriguing propositions. And I cannot use yeah. my axe here. I must get my pickaxe back out. Let us start digging through this. Let's see what we got. Same for all player created items. You can always get your shit back. Okay. Noted. Especially if I have to make something that's like... Like annoyingly... Rare. You know what I mean? Like use the items that I don't have a lot of. That if I can reclaim it, then that's awesome. I probably should just like go through out of here, but also I'm like, I should clear the way for others to come through. Oh my goodness, I see shinies over there. And dudes filled with arrows, okay. So anything up here I might want. No? Nothing, okay. There is no should. Okay, okay. Well, if I do have things, though, that are rare, I'll probably want them, but... Doors of Durin. Oh my goodness, we found the doors! Westgate. Well, this is cool. Dang. Look look at the gates. Of Durin? What's wrong with it? I've never seen runes with such shadow. Why are they purple? No we couldn't get it open from the other side. The doors of Durin are cursed. Something someone or something has gouged a curse rune on the inside of the gate. This is why Gimli's company couldn't get the doors of Durin open from the outside. Evil shadow exudes from it, blocking any for any from approaching could this be why there are piles of dead orcs oh my oh my e feather has beer where's mine i could go get more lemonade we have oh we have tips press space to jump digging okay axes okay Gather supplies, explore until Alric returns. Okay, we're waiting for the bird now. We're gonna look around here. Doors of Durin? What's wrong with it? I've never That's... seen rooms with such shadow. No wonder we couldn't get it open from the other side. Having the voice is kind of cool, though. Signs of the fellowship passing through? Don't purple death awaits. You are willing to share. What kind do you have? 
I hope it's yummy beer. I hope it's Dorvin approved beer. We can find fellowship signs of the fellowship. The fellowship was here. I found a wee set of Shire made travel plates and forks. These must have been left behind by one of Lord Gimli Gimli's hobbit companions. Companions, perhaps while resting after the Watcher trapped them inside Moria. It must be on the same path that Gandalf and Gimli led them. A very good omen. If they made it out, so can we. Oh no. <laughs> they did it, so can we. Aww. Cute. Well, I'm into here. What's over here? Wait, what was that? Did I, did I find something? That's just stone. Stone I can collect. <gasps> it is stone I can collect. My torch has gone out. Okay, back to crafting. Grant me a torch. Amazing. Light me a torch. Collect me some stone. Okay, okay, so those stones you got a smacky smacky. But you can get them. These barrels don't show anything for me. This is really pretty, by the way. Is anyone else, like, thinking that this this is just, like, really pretty? Look at all these dead guys. Uh-oh. Um Not yet, fool. Walk or, needs to prepare. Wait, what? <laughs> then we flee wait. Wait. wait for my signal. There's there's orcs is up here. I heard some unpleasant voices. Ah, uh, metal fragments, I'll take those. What's in this jar? Stone. What's in this jar? I'm breaking jars, hi, my name is Link. Will this get me wood? Oh, cloth, wood, oh my goodness, that got me a little bit of everything. You are joking before anyone? You know, you think it's ugly? Looks prettier than Lotro's Moria for sure. Like, Lotro's Moria is beautiful, but this just has, like, a certain element of, like, actual, you know, modern beauty to it. I'm not finding any, like, other braziers to light, though, like, I'm trying to find things I can put more light into. An outpost of Balin's company. Oh, we can shelter here. Hello, birdie. Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's scared of me. Okay, it's running away. Oh, my word. Okay, okay, we have giant rats. We have giant rats. Talk to the talk to the bird. Talking to birds. Attic. What news? Ah, there's no way west. No way out. I did not think we would see shadow oh cursed ruins in Moria. Our path then must go east. Ah, long journey. Uh oh. You must prepare. Up here, at that old dwarven camp. You're right. It's time to find shelter before making our way further. I will scout ahead. Stay alive. With luck, we'll exit the Dimrill oh, Gate. Goodness. For now, we must face the long dark of Moria. Oh dear. I don't like those dudes over there. 
I, I don't like those dudes over there. Eat some more of these shrooms. I'm weary and I am still in darkness. Um, what did they say about a camp over here? Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole. Ah! There's a hole in the floor. Can I make it over there? Maybe? Greet them with your axe. Yummy rat meat. I don't want to have rat meat. I have my axe out now, though. I can get some more shrooms. Okay, we found a few more shrooms. Those wood scraps are not exactly visible. Rat meat tastes amazing. I like lighting. I like fire. Hey, don't laugh at me liking fire. Can I, like, get water? What about drinking water? Also, we're at an hour 40 into stream. I should probably do a break here momentarily. Broke off some metal fragments. Okay. Oh, I can throw it? Oh, dang. Okay, I can throw things. Nice. Oh, and I can sprint. I can sprint to... <gasps> I got meat from the rat. Oh my god, I got meat from the rat. I got meat from the rat. Ooh, I found a carving. Can I... That looks like it should be a... Wood scraps. What about metal? A lot of this looks like metal. Oh my goodness. I can just knock things down. I feel bad breaking shit. While I'm collecting a bunch of shit. That's good. I am in despair. Uh-oh. Weary in darkness and despair. Where do I go to sleep? Oh god, there's orcs over there. They're following me. How do I find a spot to sleep? What did they say about sleeping? Is it better bedroll to recover health and what ails you? Okay, crafting. Can I... No, not crafting. Building? Can I... Where do I build a... How do I... Find the camp? I ran in the opposite direction. Of course I did. Um, this is not good then. I'm dying. Yep. I died. Okay. Nice. I am dead. We're gonna take this moment to, um... Understand that my curiosity gets the best of me and sometimes we die. <laughs> Um, I am going to do a take five. I want more lemonade. Um, he's found me though, or not really. Amazing. Oh, there's the outpost. It's literally on the map. Okay, okay. We're going to pause game. We will return in a moment. I want more lemonade. And everybody, stretch, water, snack. Have you had your dinner? Do you have something you should go take care of real quick? It doesn't actually pause. Well, we're dead, so we will uh, figure that out when we get back. Alrighty. BRB.